The Melbourne Storm's season of hell has ended on a winning note for its retiring players with a victory over the Knights at Amy Park. As they make their one Amy Park, the crowd stands as one here in Melbourne and listen to the roar. It's been an unnecessary horribilis for the Storm, but loyal fans were determined to stand by their side. Greg Inglis, Ryan Hoffman, Jeff Lemer and Brett Finch playing in the purple for the last time in a harsh reminder of the salary cap scandal that stripped Melbourne of its premiership and competition points. Newcastle's finals hopes also dashed, but the Knights were still determined to spoil the party. Perhaps someone forgot to tell Billy the Kid. He's away from Hilda. Here he goes. Billy Slater. Here comes Uate. The fullback making an early break and it paid dividends in the following set as Inglis forced his way over the line for the opening try. Here's Greg Inglis. He's over the line. And what a player to score the first try of the afternoon. Greg Inglis. But who else? Two minutes later, the Storm had their second. Skipper Cameron Smith breaking out of dummy half to set up Ryan Hinchcliffe. Ryan Hinchcliffe races away. Adam McDougall was denied a chance to add to his club record of tries. It's kept alive. McDougall picks it up. McDougall's over the line. After it was ruled a knock-on by Uate. Wes Nguama's younger brother Kevin was looking impressive in debut and almost scored his maiden try, only to be denied by some strong defence. He returned the favour at the other end of the field. The high pace and emotion of the game is starting to have an impact on both sides. Where's the dramas over there? Players are getting a little bit fractious here. Melbourne up by 12 points at half time. The hosts have never lost in Melbourne when leading after the break, but that record was looking shaky after Zeb Tayer scored the Knights first, courtesy of Kevin Naguama. Now Tayer on debut, he doesn't pass to the youngster, he doesn't have to. Slater's brilliance was again on show, catching an attempted 40-20 on the fly. That must have inspired the departing Hoffman, who barged over for the Storm's third. Ryan Hoffman, can he get it down? Yes, he does. While another departing Storm player added his name to the scoreboard. Can you believe it? Brent White, the first try for the year. In his farewell, Inglis Hoffman. Now what? Who's next? You wouldn't believe it. Blair, little party trick. He's into space. Tolman, I can't believe it. This is unbelievable. Aiden Tolman has scored and Lima's the last one. Lima, the only person left to score. At least he kicked a goal. <laughs> and what about the roar, Jeff Lima? Melbourne Star Centre having the final say, crossing over for his double. Here's Inglis for the corner. He started it. He finishes it, and that is the exclamation point on the career of Greg Inglis at the Melbourne Storm. A year of commiseration for the 2010 Wooden Spooners, ending with some celebration for the fans. 34-4 the final score. Daniela Intilli, Big Pond Sport.